Time now is a 515. Welcome back here to Texas today. Today is actually a weather um, impact alert day, Whitney. <laughs> We're with new terminology. You got to bear with me, but um, this is very important because a lot of people are going to be outside today. Yeah, and the reason we started this campaign up is because we want a verbiage that um, was actually relevant to you planning out your day and your week. So we issued a weather impact alert day today because it is going to be dangerously hot, you guys. And earlier than you might think, I mean, if you're going to a parade or throwing something on the grill by mid morning, it is already going to be very, very hot out there because of this right here. OK, we not only have abundant sunshine in the forecast, not much in terms of cloud cover, but also it is very, very humid out there. Feels like temperature is going to peak about five to 10 degrees higher than our actual already very high temperatures. Uh, 78 feeling like 81 right now. It is balmy uh, winds out of the south at about 10 miles an hour, so could be a bit breezy. You're definitely going to see the flags blowing around today. Um, other than that, I mentioned the heat. That weather impact alert day. Primary concern is this window right here, 10 a.m., so mid morning, all the way through 7 o'clock this evening, though. It is going to feel hot until the sun goes down, and then it is going to feel warm and buggy after that. Heat index values will peak at about 108 on average this afternoon. That is the feels like temperature and factors in that humidity. Uh, drinking water would be the primary thing that you can potentially do, but particularly of concern are folks that are high at risk, um, younger, older folks, things of that nature. I know um, I've got three little boys that I am going to force to drink water because I know I can't force them to go inside today. They're just not going to do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, by 10 o'clock, the 10 o'clock hour, we are above 85, okay? Add about five to these numbers here I'm pointing to. That's the feels like temperature. So obviously by mid morning to noon, feeling like we're in the 90s already. And that's when we start the weather impact alert. Uh, biggest window of concern being about 10 to seven today. Abundant sunshine though, no chance for rain or anything of that nature. You can see we're into the 80s by mid morning peaking or right around the triple digit mark. No chance for rain, like I said. That changes tomorrow. We have a weak cool front gonna impact us, bringing us um, potential for rain. Scattered activity coming in from the north. Going across the viewing area, it is going to be so spotty in nature. Some folks might not get anything and other folks may rack up a couple of inches within a few hours time frame. We have a lull and then midday Saturday, likely another wave of rainfall moves through. We have another lull on Sunday. And then this model isn't uh, accounting for it yet, but potentially the remnants of Hurricane Burl mess with our forecast from Monday to Wednesday of next week. So rain cast through tomorrow evening. Um, I, was, I was showing you that model that showed spotty thunderstorm activity coming in from the north. What that means is that some folks, and this map isn't going to be exact to you guys, but I'm showing it on purpose to show you that some folks will get nothing, and it's going to be very close to you and look like it's about to hit you, and then it doesn't. Some folks may get an inch or two of rain tomorrow. Uh, update on the tropics. I mentioned barrel uh, has been uh, impacting the Caribbean in a huge way headed towards the Yucatan Peninsula. This is uh, the Cancun area south of Tulum is where likely it makes landfall tonight into tomorrow morning and then all models are now pulling it into the Gulf of Mexico and I mentioned it could impact our forecast Monday to Wednesday of next week. Models are still disagreeing. They all agree now it makes landfall around Brownsville. Models are then disagreeing on exactly what it does after that, what the impacts are going to be to our forecast early next week. The reason we're watching it so closely Monday to Wednesday, again, that time frame for next week is that it could bring us some pretty heavy flooding issues if one of the models verifies that's telling us it sits over central Texas early next week. But again, hey, look at this cool down. Micah, look at that 88. Oh. Goodness. Okay, gotta get to Wednesday because that's when the smile on my face. Thank you so much, Whitney.